Hi, this is John Mount of WinVector LLC, and I want to show some old software called the Genetic Art that I worked on with some friends in the 90s. And the details are in the links, which we'll show in a bit. So first I cloned the GitHub repository, and here are the links I talked about. I'm going to go ahead and run this. This was originally in C, then later ported to Java. It was originally a, a CGI group interactive project, and now it's a single user application. So what's happening now is we've got our user interface up, and this top rail is a bunch of images that were voted on in the previous interactive uh, public site. And we can take these images and place them into our workspace just by clicking on them. Once we have them, these control menus take over left selection, take over right selection, modify the lower bottom, which then when we press the breed button, produces new pictures that are combinations of the original. Each of these pictures is generated by executing a formula over the quaternions, and then the genetic breeding is done by ripping out one part of a formula and replacing it with another. And we can try again and again and see what we get. If we have one we like, we can make a slightly larger version of it, or take a look at the formula, which is in this infix notation. We go ahead and copy that formula as text, and we can then ask the software to render that as a large image. So what I'm going to do is uh, clear out that image directory and edit the formula text. This is another formula. We'll paste in the one we just got and clean up the file a little. To render that at arbitrary resolution is just a matter of running the command. And as you see, the formula is essentially in a prefix notation, kind of lisp-like, and it's over the pixel variables x and y. So basically each pixel is a function of its x and y, and that function is computed over this number field called the quaternions, which have four slots, which gives us enough space to represent three colors and a little bit more. The formula is done. We'll go ahead and take a look at it. And there's our image at a higher resolution. And uh, I personally use these as the backgrounds on most of my workstations, and we've done a couple projects with them. And that's it, the genetic art. And if you're interested in who my collaborators were and the history of it, we have the links in the README at this GitHub repository. Thank you very much for your time.